What is up guys and welcome back to the Zozums. It is me once again, the only person who runs this YouTube channel. And today we are back for part two of the introduction to Trains A New Era. So last time we did the first five tutorials in which this one didn't work. So yeah, that happened. So now we're going to be doing the last five, which involves a shunter and some these um, you know, more experienced stuff. Eh. Also, I turned on the graphics a little bit, so maybe it'll run a little bit smoother. Ah, yes, beautiful loading screen. Okay, guys, so we are in, in the, well, you know, thing, in which I'm not sure what we're going to be doing, so that's great. And, uh, no, the frames did not improve, so, oh well. To the left, bleh, to the left of the speed and time display above, the current session objective is shown. Transfer tankers, so this. Click the objective to view, bleh, click the objective to view details. Proceed forward to Jackson Refinery when you are ready, the path has been set for you. Okay, so we have to go to the Jackson Refinery, refinery couple to the tankers, and return to the main yard. Okay. So, seems pretty simple, you know, just throttle up, damn it, nothing happened. Just throttle up and we go to the Jackson Refinery, I guess, I mean. <laughs> oh god, I turned on the refresh weight and like the um, spawn times for things, and I think I just made it worse actually on my self. And the CPU. Oh, I mean, I got that popping though. What have I done? Okay, so the refinery's over here somewhere, I guess then. Oh, we're speeding. Okay, I'll slow down a bit. Uh, and the top left above, the session score is displayed. Points may be awarded for completing tasks or objectives. Points may be deduced for breaches such as running late or, s running late or speeding. Watch your speed to avoid penalties. Okay, so I guess I have to slow down a little bit more. I will admit, though, this, this is a beautiful game, though. So. Uh, yeah, and I turned on the water quality, but that doesn't seem to help either. Mm -hmm. yeah, yay. Hmm. Okay, so here we are at the refinery. And... We'll break about here. This thing has pretty powerful brakes when it's just itself. Okay, so arriving in the refinery, you've completed the first of the three tasks. Note that the objective display has been updated accordingly. 500 points have also been, been, bleh, have also been awarded for completing the task. You can now move forward and couple to the tankers. Okay. So this is kind of just there now. I mean, it's just kind of there for points. Because in the last games, I know you just did the session. So I guess they finally stepped up their game on this one, and they're just like, you know what, we're gonna give you points now, so you actually have something to rely on, so if you screw up, you know, well, you know, you, you screwed up and you get a worse score, so you can always improve your score. Okay, moving up to the tankers. We have a nice mixed tanker line, I guess. Okay. Oh, that's a little fast. Don't want to break no tankers, now do I? Okay, two of the three tasks have now been completed. The objective display has been updated for another 500 points to my score. So I now have two stars. Okay. So now we can turn back to the main yard. Okay. Next thing, red distance a mile. Okay. Now I'm just going to throttle up. And let's see what tankers we have here. Oily Rag and Co. Let's see, what's this one? Oh, it's the UTLX. That's pretty common. What's this one? Something. Because textures. And this is the new tanker as well. This has never been in the game, from what I know. Okay, so, you know. It's pretty normal stuff. Okay, apparently this thing isn't as fast going backwards as it is forwards. Either that or just these tankers are just really, really heavy. Okay. Right. Other way to throttle. <laughs> no, I'm not good going backwards. Come on. 
on, engine. Power! Power! More. See, we're even going downhill. Let's give speed. Ooh, I like that engine noise. Compared to the last ones, that one was a good one. Oh gosh, just pop in. What have I done? Horrible things, that's what I've done. It's horrible things. Yeah, so this also doubles as a G-Tax tanker, which is also pretty common. G-Tax? Sorry, G-A-T-X. Not G-Tax. Oh, we're speeding. Oh no. Whatever shall you do? Okay, that's a little much speed. I'm gonna have to pull back on the throttle a little bit. And we're still gaining speed. Okay. Oh dear, that red signal's coming. I am I close. Ah, yeah, see here, what I've done is I've probably f***ed up. I'll try and censor that. Actually, no, we didn't screw up. Okay. Okay, good. I thought we screwed up because it looked really close on here, but I was looking at the wrong thing, so... So luckily enough for me that we didn't, it's, eh, I can English, yes. Okay, so it's pretty lucky for me that we didn't screw up. Because I was coming in way too fast there, especially with these tankers weighing so much. I, I, I definitely underestimated the weight of these tankers. Come on, go backwards. And now I know what it's like to be a normal shunter. I'm kidding. This is nothing like being a normal shunter. Per Marquette. Good. Is this Southern Pacific? Okay. Port Galveston. Okay. Seaboard. A the Mau. The the Peora Gateway. Sure. Venus. Burlington Northern. Burlington Northern. Minneapolis and St. Louis over there. Okay, I'm gonna start braking like really early. Cause this thing does not have brakes for one, and this these tankers weigh a lot once again. Okay. I mean that was pretty straightforward. Now yeah, okay, I'll just stop here. It's close enough. And that's all three. It's Two thousand points overall. And, ooh, let's see how many... Yay! That's a funky display. I like it, but it needs work. A perfect run. You have achieved a rating of 5 stars. Click the replay button below to retry the session from the beginning, or click exit to return to the menu and try another session. Well, I'm gonna go to the menu. But yeah. That's great. Let's go on to the second one. Tutorial 7. Realistic. Oh dear, I'm gonna do horrible with this. Okay, so we here we are in realistic mode in the cab. This is nice. In realistic mode, you can use your mouse or the keyboard to operate the levers in the locomotive cab. The controls are also represented in the bottom right of the screen down here. Okay, so yeah, I, I'm pretty good at this. Okay. Ah. Sorry, the three brakes always get me confused. I know the independent brake is for the locomotive itself, the train brake is for, like, the whole train, and the dynamic brake has something to do with the, um, throttle. Like, basically what the dynamic brake is, is if you move it all the way up, you can basically use the throttle as a brake. So, yeah. Okay, so, in re yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we need to press F. Oops, I didn't read. So if we press F, that puts us in a forwards gear, which is down here, the reverser, which we can also move to put us in reverse gear. Okay. No, no, I wanted to go into forwards gear, you turd. Yeah, obviously this is a bit funky. Definitely need some work. Oh, 
What? <laughs> I'm moving the other direction. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna use this. And keyboard controls. So, yeah. Pressure in the brake cylinders causes the brakes to apply. Note this. Note in the display on the right that the brake cylinder, so this, is showing 64 psi to release the brakes, push the Q key, or you could just do this. Okay. Sorry, I have a little bit gum now. So, yeah, psi pressure was down. And W advances the throttle. Okay, so we don't want to speed up too fast because achieve wheel, we can achieve wheel split. That's great. Tap the X key to back off the throttle, otherwise known as the S. Okay, so I need to redo my um, stuff. When hauling consists, always reduce the throttle slowly to prevent slack and the coupler is running in too quickly. Okay. So move until idle, which I am in idle. So that's great. So now we're just coasting along. This is pretty nice. New Haven. Ah, it's hard to read them as they go fast. Go fast, go by. Also, I like that all the, um, you know, things go. But what I don't like is the, um, oh, just you are running light, or in other words, not hauling a consist. Use the independent brake to stop. The independent brake only applies braking to the locomotive. So, yeah, I was right. So, E for the independent brake. That's good. Is a Q to release the train brake, E to put the independent brake on. Okay. I like the bell. Could you stop? Oh, because I took off the independent brake, it won't stop. Okay. To submit, to set the reverse gear, okay, to put it into reverse, we press the R key. Which we must have the throttle in idle position. <laughs> Sorry. In idle position to, you know, do stuff. So basically, we can turn backwards now. Okay, so now you're in reverse gear. And W, after I take off the independent brake, let us, let us go backwards. Oh, so we got shoved out of the cockpit. That's great. Cockpit? Hell no. I'm gonna be put. I'm gonna put myself back into the cab interior view. I guess we. Okay, so, yeah, that's great. So this is basically just um, learning how this works. And see, you can see the um, slight rocking of the train from inside the. Sorry, I'm so used to playing simulator, not playing simulator, but War Thunder, with um, it being the cockpit now from the, uh, cab. Oh, we got switched onto another line. That's great. Uh-oh. I'm already speeding. Now bring the locomotive to a halt again. A fast train takes some time to slow down. Tap X until the throttle returns to out of position. Already did that. And press E to apply the independent brake. Already did that. Okay. So, what are we doing? Now. Congratulations, you have completed this tutorial. whoop de doo Onwards to the next one! Okay, so we are back again in this tutorial, in this, this next tutorial, in which we have this beautiful view of our engine. That's great. Okay, so this one's supposed to be about the train brake. So you may start off your train forwards and ready. Heavy freight can take a long time to build speed. Press F to select forward gear. Dun dun. Take off the brake and W to increase the throttle. Okay. So I'm gonna go outside the cab for this so I can just. Because I'm uncomfortable outside of the cab. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely heavy freight considering the engine's not going anywhere. Advancing the throttle too quickly can result in 
we will spin indicated by the throttle over here, flashing yellow in the display on the right, yeah. If wheel spin occurs plus S to close the throttle, then advance it more slowly. Applying sand will help. So we post this one. And yeah, you can also press B. Oh gosh, it's loud back there. Whoop de doo. Yeah, I'm gonna go back into the cab now. Because it's quiet in the cab. I like it here. What's the horn? Is this the horn? Yeah, that's the horn. <laughs> that's fun. Where's the bell? Um. Okay, apparently it doesn't have a bell, so that's great. Okay, well, I'm gonna add a little bit more power to the engine. So we can just, like, you know, get it up to 30 miles per hour. And then we'll need to stop again, which I'm gonna utterly fail at, because I'm bad at this game. That's great. Whoa. Ooh, a little bit of a jump there. Okay, so yeah, this is a train brake lever. What's this? Uh, part of the line slopes downgrade. Indicated by the gradient, this thing on the right. Gravity will move the train down at the speed, so close the throttle. Okay. And we'll watch the limit in the upper right corner. So that's great. Yep, and there goes the power. You can just hear it throttle down there. So yeah, the realistic mode really is realistic. This is like actual simulator for a War Thunder. Except you can actually get outside of the cabs. <laughs> Why am I comparing this to War Thunder? It's two completely different games. One of them's a War World War II game. And this one's a freaking train simulator. Oh god. Okay, so... Uh, next distance for our next speed limit is uh, point f not point 0.5 miles away and the next signal's green at not point 0.6. And speed limit now is 30, 60, not 30, sorry. So I'm gonna... Uh, train brake is connected by a brake pipe, an error line that can text off to the brake system on every car on the train. A reduction of the brake pipe trigger pressure, brake cylinders, okay, so yeah. So I'm gonna add a little bit of power to the engine, and I'm gonna get it up to 50 miles per hour, considering we're going to have that limit at not point three miles. Okay. Come on, a little more power, please. Yeah, you can definitely see the rocking in the train as well. So it is currently 10 o'clock. Probably in the morning, considering it's sunny on the map. Then again, you'd be like in the north, way up north. So, yeah, that's great. The locomotive is fitted with a modern self-flapping brake handle. The amount of brake force depends on how far the brake handle is moved through its range. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't believe that this is 60 mi like 50 miles an hour. Not 60. Honestly. Come on. Get me up to 50 miles per hour here. So yeah, like, see, the last time the water actually looked nice, this time it's just kind of, you know, watery. <laughs> There's a 40 limit at the tunnel. Ahead, tapping A once removes the handle to initial service position. This is the minimum brake application. Well, considering that my train is just above 40, I'm going to tap it real quick. Yep, there it goes. You can hear the squealing. I like that they added that. Squealing of the brakes. Yep, there it goes. My engine throttling down. There, what the frick is... Oh, we already passed the tunnel. What? I don't know. Maybe there's another tunnel. I'm confused. Oh, there's a tunnel up there. I remember now. Right. 
Oh, I forgot to honk the horn. Oh, well. Too bad. So sad. So, now we have 60 mile an hour limit, and after this limit, we should get up to... We get, yeah, we should get down to 40. I'm gonna add a little bit of power. Yeah, 40 and not point two miles. So yeah, this isn't too hard to control. Honestly, I think after a while I'll prefer this. What the hell is going on with the textures? That's glitchy. Real glitchy. No matter. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, up ahead the line climbs steeply and lost momentum will be difficult to regain as the track levels out again. Advanced throttle is necessary to prevent too much loss of momentum. Well, first things first, I have to get back up to 40 miles an hour because this stupid engine is a stupid engine. Yeah, you can already see the grade here. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, there it goes right th like that, just on the, like a dime. It just went up. So, yeah, that's right. Come on, I want to get up to 40 miles an hour. Plus. Okay, so we're going to hit a uh, 60 mile an hour limit coming up here. This isn't even a steep grade. What the hell? We're actually going downhill now. Alright, the steep grade's probably farther on. Well, yeah, we're not gaining any speed whatsoever. I don't like this. Because that means I have to advance the throttle even more. There we go. Finally getting some speed up here. Oh, yep, there's the grade. There's the grade, all right. Holy crap. One, two percent grade. And it just keeps going. So, two point... 20. Actually, no, just about around 2% is the grade. So, okay, grade, I guess. We're going to chase view. Yeah, you can kind of see the grade here. Yeah, oh, yeah, you can definitely see the grade from this side. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're losing momentum big time here. I'm going to turn on the Sanders as well. Because those might be needed just for luck. Yeah, we're definitely losing speed here. Look at this. Whoa. Oh, I should... Like, I, I knew I should have gotten more speed up. Oh, please don't stall on me, engine. Please don't stall on me. See, even the grade's decreasing now. It's now going down to 1.6. And now it's going back up. Whoop de doo. Plus. Pretty plus. Okay, so we're just kind of coasting along at 23 miles per hour now, so that's good. <laughs> speed's actually lower than. I, yeah, the speed's lower than my frame rate. <laughs> frame rate's at 24. <laughs> oh my gosh. And now we have yellow signal up ahead? What the heck? Really? Oh, there we go. Going down another mile per hour. Come on. You're working your butt off, engine, but do it harder. Why aren't these fans spinning? Spin, you turds. You're working your butt off. It's supposed to spin. It's not even a long train. I mean, it's probably heavy, but and we only have one engine, but it's not long. And we're down to 21 miles per hour. I want to get back into the cab. I just honked my horn because we're going into the tunnel. Cause that's a thing. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just randomly have a cough now. Of course, it just starts when I'm trying to record. You know, just my luck. 
I'm gonna eat, grab another stick of gum. I'm at it. It's a pretty good trident, dumb. Gum, dumb. Oh, God. Um, it's like watermelon and, um, cantaloupe. Pretty good. Hey, we're gaining speed. Hey. Hey, the mouth. Right. I'm gonna keep my eye on that gradient. I don't like the way it goes up. Yeah, 0.2% isn't too bad, but I'm still keeping my eye on it. Alright, so one of the things I was gonna talk about before I was oh, so really interrupted by this session. Is the, how the, um, these things actually work. I know in the higher resolutions for textures, these actually, like, you can read them and you can actually use these instead of having to use this. But because, you know, oh, we're about to pass the yellow signal, which is... Right, 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 red, okay, da, da. Close the throttle and tap A twice. Okay. I screwed that up. Press A, like, two times. I mean, no, not two times like we're supposed to. Like, four times. Good God me. But, like, I like how these work. One thing I don't like, though, is it doesn't look very realistic. Like, they're kind of floating, and you can move them, see them budging. But what can you ask? I mean, it's better. This is the next thing you'll show in the yellow display to the right. It looks like you'll stop too early. If it looks like you stopped too early, release the brakes and repass them. Reapply them. Oh my gosh, I'm horrible at reading today. Reapply them when you're closer to your signal. If it looks like you'll pass the signal, move the handle farther up into the braking range. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I don't think we're going to stop in time. So, I'm going to apply more. Because it's not 0.2 miles, and we're not really stopping all too fast. Okay, there we go. Now I'm seeing a different speed, a change in speed. So I'm gonna take off the brake for now. Yeah, I'll take off the brake for now. 12 miles an hour is not too fast. Okay, so we're approaching not point one. Okay, so. I can't see the signal. That kind of worries me. Oh, uh, wait, I can just move around the cab. Haha. <laughs> There's the signal. Okay, uh, I should probably break then. If it's that close. Okay, I'll take it off again. Get back to my normal sitting position. I might even apply a bit of power here. Just because I need to get a little bit farther. Oh, I can hear the Sanders. Oh, I gotta take that off, probably. Okay, yeah. I think this is a decent distance to just stop at. So I'm gonna apply the brake. Plez. Plez, stop. Plez. 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 Okay, good. Okay. Congratulations, you've completed a tutorial. Whoop-dee-doo. Onwards to the next tutorial, which is about the dynamic break. Whoop. Ooh. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so we are back in the dynamic break, um, you know, tutorial. Which we have this nice long string of grain cars that I'm assuming are completely full. And we have three engines this time, which makes me kind of happy. Because one engine definitely wasn't enough. Okay, once applied, the train brake cannot be partially released. Yeah, okay, as I know. To reduce brake force, it must be fully released and reapplied. After release, it takes time for pressure and... For, it takes time for each reservoir in the car to be repressurized. Okay. Click the check mark when you're ready to continue. 
Successive applications and releases can deplete the reservoirs of sufficient pressure to apply the brakes. Dynamic brake helps and avoid this situation. Helps. <laughs> Dynamic brake helps avoid this dangerous situation when making a long descent. Jeez, man. Okay, so I guess they want us to put the train into forwards gear and just go. Okay, now let's go. Yes, throw up. I was listening to a video the other, uh, not the other day, but earlier today, and this is actually like recorded noises. Sorry, like, because I know I said in the last video, this is what I've been using for the last, I don't know, since the beginning, I guess, and um, yeah, this is actually the court re recorded noises. So I'm an idiot. Sorry. I don't know that it's really simulated very well. That says maximum speed, 70 miles per hour. This just looks like Star Wars writing. Like, textures. Yeah. And because this is a simulator, you know, we have maximum, like, amazing view. A 30 mile per hour limit exists 1,200 yards ahead. Close the throttle and press C to set up the dynamic brake. Now use the throttle to control the dynamic brake as dynamic braking as necessary to keep your speed below 30 miles an hour. Crap, did I screw that up? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. I I don't know. Uh Ah No, that's the independent brake. Oh gosh. Um close the throttle. I think that's what it said. I'm an idiot though, so I didn't read it. Okay, so then C to enable dynamic brake, and then you use the dynamic brake to keep your speed just below 30 miles an hour. What? 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 Yep, there's a 30 mile an hour limit. I'm keeping it at 32, so that's good. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. If the dynamic brake is insufficient to slow heavy train, the train brake can be applied in addition to keep the dynamic... In addition to the dynamic brake to keep your speed under control. Okay. Good to know. So if we're going down like a point thirty-four, I'm kidding. A 34% grade. <laughs> you know, I, I can use that. So I'll take off the dynamic brake real quick. I didn't mean to take it off all the way, I need to switch my controls. So, we'll just try to keep it underneath, um... Well... You know, 30 miles an hour. I like that view. Hey look, it's the yard that we started, actually. Okay, cool. My mom's home. That's great, she might be coming in here. WATERFALL! <laughs> it's amazing! so much better than the last games. The waterfalls in the last games are so hard to freaking do. Half the time doesn't even work. Okay, so I'm gonna hop off the dynamic brake again, because I'm kind of, I guess, lingering it on too much. You hear the engine throttling as well, because I'm controlling the throttle. And they close my door a little bit more, so that's great. Okay, so we've successfully kept it, keep it, oh gosh, man, I am just not doing well at speaking English today. So that's great. I like the rails along the sides of this. Random mom coming in to ask me if I got the mail today, you know, that's the best thing. Holy crap, we went over, we went over. Quick, apply the brake. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, come on. Plez. Plez. Stop! Brake! <laughs> Would you mind not going over one more mile per hour? Okay. 
Come on. Stop throwing. There you go. 33 miles an hour. Come on. Keep her going. A little bit more. 31. A little bit more. There you go. So I'm going to take off the brake a little bit now so I don't completely destroy my speed. Up ahead, the line levels out and then begins to climb, cl climb, climb steeply. You need to pipe plower to keep your train moving. Okay, so I'll close the throttle and press C to disengage dynamic brake. Okay, great. Okay, so now we have a 40 mile per hour speed limit. I'm gonna throttle up the engine. Yeah, you can see the grade start right there. So yeah, let's throttle up the engine. Let's do this. I'm gonna close that window. So I, it, like, doesn't randomly pop up without me no, not noticing. Oh dear, that's that's quite a steep grade. It's a good thing we have three engines and it'll... <laughs> it doesn't matter, still losing speed. Quick, set it at high. The highest the throttle can go. We're not losing speed, we're gaining it. Nah, we're still losing speed. Ah, uh, next signal's red. Hopefully I don't budge that up. I'm gonna turn on the sanders as well. So yeah, 1.1 miles, and we'll have a red signal. Which I'm gonna have to try and cope with the brakes to help me on that one. Basically, I don't know what any of this is, because, <laughs> like, the flow is, like, how fast the, uh, actually, I don't know. The brake pipe is, like, how much PSI there's in the brakes. The brake si cylinder is how much PSI is in the actual braking cylinders. The reservoir is 140, then there's the Eagle Reservoir, which is kind of like the backup, I guess, I don't know. And then we have the throttle and the reverser and the brake, which are pretty simple. It's a pretty sketchy bridge, if you ask me. You know, if I was driving a train, I actually wouldn't trust this. Honestly, I wouldn't trust this at all. And not point six miles. Signal at the head of the signal at the end of the yard is red. Slow down and be prepared to stop at the signal. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna drop off now. And I'm gonna apply the train brake. No, I'm going to apply the dynamic brake right now. I'll apply the train brake, which is probably necessary, so I'm going to... I'm going to take the brake off, and then I'm going to tap it twice. Just, the more braking power, the better. And plus, we're approaching it quite fast, so... Honestly, I don't trust this. Yeah, we we've been here before. Yeah, this is the lumber area, where we got the lumber... Hi, low passengers that are very stiff. Like, very stiff. But Luke, I actually obeyed the rules of the railroad for once. Okay, yeah, I think I put a little bit too much braking on. Um, hold on. Nope, wrong direction. Where's the signal? The signal's over there somewhere, probably. Can I move over seats? Yes, I can. So uh, yeah, the signals are over there, so I'll move back to my normal position now. Okay, yeah, yeah I'm gonna hop off the throttle again. Not point one, so we'll just switch seats again. Oh, that's that's quite close actually. I no wait, is it the right one? I can't tell. No, okay, so these aren't the right ones. So they must yeah, it's down there. Okay, I see it. I'm doing horrible at this. See, this is why I can't. I just can't. <laughs> um, I need to switch positions. Woo. Okay, so yeah, that's approaching. Okay, I should probably start braking. Okay, so yeah. A twice. Oh, crap. I'm gonna need more than that. Holy crap. 
uh, dynamic brake as well, and the indi you know, the train brake, the extra train brake, holy crap. Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Close enough. Congratulations, you've completed the tutorial. Woo! So, I actually did that. Don't know how, but yeah. Well, yeah, let's go on to the next tutorial then. Cool. Okay, guys. So we are back for the last tutorial. And it appears that we're going to be learning how to drive a steam train. Whoop-dee-doo. <laughs> I'm going to fail horribly at this. Just like in the diesel cab, the steam loco controls can be operated by mouse or by keyboard shortcuts. In the display on the right, you'll notice that some of the details are different. Well, hell yeah, it's a steam train. It does not work like a diesel. When taking control of the steam loco, there are a few things you should check first. Boiler indicates the pressure available in the boiler, boiler to keep the power to the locomotive. This must be maintained to keep the locomotive running. Okay, the water... Well, actually, yeah, let's go to the boiler first. 251 PSI. Water indicates the level of water in the sight glass. This should be maintained at around 60 to 70%. Ah, I know what the sight glass looks like. Yeah, that's the sight glass. I think. I think that's the sight glass. Uh, I'm an idiot, so can't really trust me, but honestly, I think that's the thing. This is like an internal or something. I don't know. Oh, dear. I'm never going to be a professional at this. Okay, so we should keep this at around 60 to 70 percent using the injectors to pump water into the boiler. So, if we press I repeatedly, we can open up the injectors. So, we want to get this up to around 60%. So, I'm going to keep the injectors at full currently, and I'm going to keep an eye on that. Okay. Coal level. Burning coal heats the water to produce steam. Pressure in the boiler drops as the steam is consumed. Also, when the water is injected into the boiler, 46%. So, add coal to the fire by pressing space bar to increase boiler pressure. So, the best firing technique is to add a little bit of coal every once in a while. That's nice. Can we close this? Plus? I don't know. Okay, so water's at 55%. And... I am gonna... Once it hits, like, 65, I'm gonna take it off. Okay, so... Na, 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 na. How much coal do we have? 104. Okay, so that's 665. I'm going to pull off on the injectors now. Okay, so cutoff. The reverser is used to select the direction of the travel. Also controls the cutoff. So full forward gear is represented by 75% cutoff. So this in the display on the right. More about the cutoff later. F to set full forwards gear. So we kind of have to watch it. See if he gets around 75. Okay, so that's full forwards gear. Okay. So we have water, we have coal. Okay. Watch the water level and reduce the injectors when the level is around 60 to 70 percent. Yeah, we already did that. The injector handle has several positions. With practice, you can learn. They spelled practice wrong. <laughs> You can learn to keep them open just enough to match your water usage under the given circumstances. Tap O repeatedly and, watch and set the slider down to 25%. Crap. Alright. Um, that, that's around there. Okay. Regulator admits steam to the cylinders that turn the driving wheels. Open the regulator to 15%. Initially, to avoid wheel slip, press Q to release the brakes. You know, classic. And W as you gently open up on the regulator, increasing it to 100% as you go. Okay. Woo! We're moving. Ah. Uh, so they haven't bothered to come up with a new whistle yet. And that's sad. I'm gonna pull off. Okay, so yeah, my controls work for WNS on this one. Yo, you wanna move forwards?
My regulator is flashing. Screw you. Stop flashing on me. I hate you. Stop flashing. Okay, 15. I don't know. That's, that's around 15%. Okay. Like, yeah. Okay. I think I got this. Uh, we have crappy view from in here, so if we keep pushing, pushing, pushing. There we go. There's our out of the window view. I don't like the textures glitching, but you know, logic. I like how they did bother to actually make like the turning of this nice. That's great. Let's see, what number are we? Yes, because I can look my head down between my body. That doesn't do this. Okay, so we're 27.56. Okay, so I'm gonna notch up. So yeah, yeah, I already did that. Sorry. <laughs> Too bad. I'll pull up on the regulator a little bit more. Still have too much water. My coal is going down. So I think I'm going to add a bit more to that lever. Hey, we're changing. Now one of the things that they did do is they changed how their steam looks in this um, version. And honestly, I think it looks a lot nicer compared to the last version. Like, a lot nicer. Okay, so yeah, we are on our way. But like, yeah, when I said uh earlier about like the whistle, it's because this is the same whistle that they've used for basically the last versions and like for every steam locomotive that's basically American and they're just like, it has this, which is the one that they used for the big boy in the last version, which they appear to remove in this version. Cause I can't find it anywhere in here. I am crazy. I don't know though. See, this is nice. Oh look, it's a 50. Cutoff reduces the uh, time that the steam is emitted to the cylinders during each stroke. This reduces acceleration and power but use the steam more effectively. Negative cutoff values are reverse gear, so keep the number positive while moving forward. Tap R repeatedly to move the uh, cutoff to about 25%. Okay. Crap, I forgot where the cutoff is. Ah, there it is. Okay. Oh, I moved it too far. Um, crap. I don't remember what it is, so I'm just gonna do this the fashion, old-fashioned way. Good enough, 27. At least the, um, shrugging sounds very nice. Oh, gosh. That, that, that smells horrible. Oh, quick, get inside the locomotive again. Don't know where that view went. Just went somewhere. Okay, yeah, so this is nice. I'm not gonna move the, um... Whatever that's called, I can't remember anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna have to throw it up to 100%. I'll pull off when need be. Is that something wrong? Cheap steam chest? I don't know. Up ahead, you will be required to reduce the medium speed, shut off steam, and allow the train to coast. Okay, so yeah, we'll just take that off. <coughs> yeah, this isn't too hard. It just takes a little bit of skill in, in getting used to, you know. So yeah, my water is still going up a bit. More than I would like it to, so I'm gonna pull off in the water. The coal level... Still being coal. The line is climbing here, so your train will slow down without need for braking. 
Once your speed gets down below 30 miles per hour, increase and decrease the regulator as needed to maintain speed. Well, I already am below that, so... Quick! Give the engine steam. So, our limit is 50 right now, but 30 miles per hour and not .3 miles. So basically I gotta wash it so I don't go over 30. Okay, look, it's where the glitch part of the last session was. <laughs> Not the last session, but the last video. I'm still very fond of that. I'm kidding. I hate it. Wait, can I go outside the cap again? Please. Thank you. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit longer because you can really get around. See, is this still glitched? No, it isn't! Holy crap! Okay, so I'm going to pull off on the power. So this isn't glitched for once. Hooray. Woo! At least this thing is modeled very beautifully. I mean, I love... Like, it's new to this version, but I just love the way it looks. And the Doppler effect, though. I mean, look at the smoke, man. It's just beautiful. Honestly, I just wish they'd get a new whistle for this thing. That's all I would ask. Beautiful 2... Um... 6 -0? Is this a 2 6 No, this is a 2 -8 -0. No, not a 2 8 a 2 8 -4, sorry. Had the line climb steeply, adding coal momentarily will cool the fire, and injecting water will rob you of some boiler pressure. It's good practice to have plenty of water in the boiler and a hot fire before starting a long ascent. Well... I have plenty of water, I know that. Actually, my water's going down, so I'm gonna pull this up a little bit more. And the coal, I'm gonna just move up again. A little bit more. I'm gonna pull the, um, regulator back up. So I have speed. I'm still losing coal. Here, just, just, just move all the coal in. Unless, I. Like, I move that up again, it's like shovel. I don't know. I swear in the last version they had like a guy, not in the last version, but like one of the older versions they actually had a guy shoveling coal in. I'm not sure, I'll have to look into that, but... Yeah. Okay, so I'll load it more to the regulator so we can get some speed up going, I guess. So we're still losing coal. And the water is, as a matter of fact, going down now. The cutoff is a little high. Actually, the cutoff is blinking. Not sure what it wants me to do. Okay, it just wanted me to pull off the cutoff a bit. Okay. Yeah, so basically it's shouting at me for anything above 25%. So there's 25%. Okay, no, it just says 25% is too much. Okay, screw you. Okay, 23% is okay then, I guess. Because, yeah, we're at 36 miles per hour, and we're losing speed again because I've reduced the cutoff a bit. But no matter. I'm going to pull back on the coal. As speed falls, ascending over... When, as speed falls ascending a bank, it's okay to increase the cutoff if necessary. Remember, this will use less, this will use steam less effect efficiently, so always reduce it again when practicable. Press F to increase the cutoff, R to decrease. Okay. So 
basically you want me to just use the cutoff as my throttle now. On locos with the standard train brake of the handle is moved to the service position to vent brake pipe the pressure causing the brakes to apply. The pressure will continue to drop until the handle is moved to the lap position. Imagine having a steam train just come roaring through here, 45 miles per hour, which I don't believe in. The equalizing reservoir is usually is used to instantly engage the level of the brake pipe reduction. When a moderate brake application is required, please wait for equalizer to show 15 psi protect re re reduction before moving the handle to a lap position. So, okay. So once it shows 15 PSI less, I guess, so when I move it in, I'm not sure. Here's that sketchy bridge. Very sketchy. I don't like it. Hey, we're back here. Oh, crap, we're speeding. Holy crap, we're speeding. You're speeding the speed limit. S controls the regulator. A and Z to lap the brake. <coughs> We're still lap it now. Yeah, because I'm not what sh I'm not sure what they meant by 15 psi reduction. Maybe it means it has to be at 15 psi before I can put the brakes on. I don't know. I'm just gonna lap it now. I honestly do not know. Okay, so that's that. Um. Yeah, sure. Makes sense, I guess. Okay. So many freaking gnats flying around my room, it's annoying. From here, the line climbs to our. I'm gonna mirror this. Our cell village. Remember, it's okay to increase the cutoff when power is needed to climb the hill. Ensure the regulator is sent to 100. Tap F to increase the cutoff as necessary. Okay. This is a very beautiful map for being so small. I will admit. So this is really about skill, like, when you're going uphill and downhill, you use the cutoff to, like, control your speed, but when, like, on land, like, normal land, you just keep the cutoff at around 25% and, um, use the actual throttle and the braking, and for stopping you use braking. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit of coal, because that's going down quite fast, it's kind of worrying me. Yes, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to increase the cutoff as much as I hate to. Yes, randomly switching me to this line side view again. Okay, so yeah, we hit a small amount of city gradient there. Oh, we're gonna go right through the smoke. Woo, smoke. Frames drop. Oh, cool, so now we're on this bridge. That's great. Could you, like, stop putting in this view? Now we're gonna go back to cab. Okay, so pull back on the cutoff a bit. Because we're gaining some speed. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna really... Wait, I'm going back up on the cutoff, damn it. I'm gonna move it down to, like, 20... 1%, I guess. So we, I'm gonna pull off on the cut off a bit more. We're going into 35 miles per hour territory, and I'm going. I was just going a little bit over. So, okay, that's it. I'm gonna go back into 18%. We'll be stopping up ahead at Arsau Village. Shut off the steam now and coast into the station. So, press S repeatedly, or I can just hold down S and uh, I'll cut off the steam. Yeah, I'm gonna pull back on the cutoff as well. I'm gonna change that to zero. So I'm gonna keep the cut up around twelve percent. Move the regulator up a bit. I'm gonna go and chase you because I don't. Yes, that's beautiful. Come on, forwards! Give me power! Yeah, I screwed up big time. So if we move the regulator up a bit more, and I give the air train more power. Yeah, come on, keep going. Beautiful engine though. Okay, so press. Okay, so I'm gonna pull back on this now. Again. And I'm just gonna let it coast a bit, and then I'll lap the. Actually, I know what. Yeah, I'll apply the brake and I'll lap that. Soon. Okay, oh, I might not even have to use the brake all, all too much, because I'm slowing down quite fast here. Seriously, though, I have to hand it to the trains team. This is a beautiful engine. And look at this beast. Does the bell move? I press B. It does! That's awesome! See, that's what I like to see in this game is that so yeah we're ever so slowly coming in yeah this thing might as well just glide to a stop I 
I don't even have to do anything. Yeah, this is oh <laughs> so slow, but you know whatever. Here, I'll give the regulator a bit of push. We can have some power. Okay, not too much. Yeah, okay, we got this. So I'm gonna apply the brake now. That should do, and I'll lap it right, right here. Okay. So, that's that complete, I guess. Congratulations, you completed this tutorial. Okay. So, that's really the end of this thing. So, I guess if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like down below to encourage me to keep making this stuff. And if you disliked it, well, you know, dislike the video. Means I need to improve my stuff. And if you're new to the channel or you uh, really liked it, um, you know, you can subscribe. That'll tell you when all my videos come out. And if you're on mobile, you can turn on those notifications so you even have um, mobile notifications when my videos come out. Highly recommended. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know, stuff like that, please leave it in the comment section down below. I'll probably answer you. So yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.